Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's Corey here. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Um, good morning. Yeah, how are y'all doing? Whew. Walking around all of these different steps in this one little area very close to Matsudo Station. There's this abandoned apartment complex which is uh, really strange to see because we are literally like in the center of Matsudo City, like downtown. I think I can even see the, the City Hall building from here. Um, we're, we're really, really central. As you can see behind me here, there's these uh, like big doors that are rusted. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's some kind of a storage thing or something to do with like plumbing in there. Anyways, guys, welcome to the video. As I said, um, today we are on a mission and we are going to try to find two things. Okay, two things that are pretty, um, I guess, not unique, but like they are related to Matsudo specifically. So the first one is eucalyptus trees. So why the eucalyptus tree? Well, it's actually the official tree for Matsudo City. But if you're um, walking around uh, Matsudo, there's manhole covers that have a picture of a koala on a eucalyptus tree. So the koala is actually like the mascot for Matsudo and then the tree that it's on, the eucalyptus tree is the official tree. Now I myself have been here for 18 or 19 months in Matsudo and I have not seen a single eucalyptus tree anywhere. I have no memory of seeing any eucalyptus trees. And you guys have seen my videos, you've seen my live streams. I've walked everywhere. Um, even just looking around here, there, there are no eucalyptus trees at all. These are all just like, I don't even know what the pine and like oak and some other trees, but uh, no eucalyptus. So why is the koala the mascot for Matsudo? Well, I've heard two reasons. And uh, the first one is because of the eucalyptus tree um, being the official tree for Matsudo and koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. So there's that connection. And then the second one I heard is that Matsudo is actually the sister city of Whitehorse in the state of Victoria, I believe, in Australia. So there's those two connections. So you can see that on the manhole covers around Matsudo. There's a koala on a eucalyptus tree. It's everywhere. So that actually brings me to my second goal of this video and it's to find a specific manhole cover. Now in Matsudo there's uh, two very common manhole cover designs that you could find. So the first one is a picture of the koala on a eucalyptus tree and then the second one is a picture of an old boat um, being kind of rowed by a man uh, using an oar and uh, it's got several people on the boat and it says Yagiri no Watashi and th that is actually a crossing from uh, Edo, old Edo, uh, old Tokyo and um, coming over into Matsudo, into Chiba Prefecture and so there used to be these different river crossings around um, the Edo River if you traveled along the length of it but um, all of them are gone except for the one here connecting to Matsudo and um, my recent live stream walking video, I went to Shibamata last week and I actually went to the Yagiri no Watashi, but it was closed uh, for the winter season. So unfortunately, I couldn't take the boat. So hopefully in the springtime when it reopens, uh, I can take that boat ride and we can maybe do it on a live stream or something. So two goals, guys. Eucalyptus tree, got to find it somewhere. And the second one, we need to find this manhole cover. Now, let me be more uh, specific. There is a manhole cover that's painted with a white koala and a painted eucalyptus tree. Now, most of the manhole covers are not painted at all. They're just straight up steel. But there apparently is one painted manhole cover somewhere in Matsudo City. I'm not exactly sure where. So that's today's goal. We're going to go find it. From the clues that I've seen online, uh, it's somewhere near Matsudo Station. So we're actually not too far. So I'm just going to kind of go up and down all the streets and alleys and try to find this thing. So I heard that there was only one of these painted manhole covers, but then uh, another site said that there was a few others. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try to find at least one. So I hope you guys get some snacks and drinks, get comfy, get some blankets and stuff, put your feet up, get ready to walk around Matsudo. We're going to try to find the eucalyptus tree and this painted manhole cover. Let's go.
not even 10 minutes after I said I've never seen a eucalyptus tree in Matsudo, I think I just stumbled upon a small grove in this park. Several uh, eucalyptus trees. I'm pretty sure these are eucalyptus. So you can see the bark, um, it's peeling off, but it's still on the tree. I think that's like a telltale sign. Plus the leaves are very elongated and skinny. So that looks like the eucalyptus leaf. Well, it looks like uh, within the first 10-15 minutes, I accomplished my first goal, which was to actually find a eucalyptus tree in Matsudo. So it seems like they're kind of situated in this park. I don't know if there's any other eucalyptus trees in all of Matsudo. I have no idea. Uh, I really have not seen any of these trees. Uh, outside of this one park. So um, I, I guess maybe I'll have to keep my eye open a little bit more, but um, to be honest, I haven't seen any outside of this one specific park. So now that that is accomplished, guys, let's go and try to find this painted manhole cover. So I'm in this building right by the park. It looks like it's a very nice like apartment building. I'm walking around in here and it's it's really strange. There's like nothing open. And there's really not much in here. And it's just really quiet. <laughs> it's like I, f I feel like I'm trespassing or something like that. You know, especially when I see the escalator like this roped off. Am I just in some weird abandoned shopping mall? Like, what is this place? So there is this uh, manhole cover right here. It's painted yellow in the background, but that's it. Like the, the koala and the trees and stuff are not painted. It's just the background is yellow.
I found these uh, koala manhole covers. It's really hard to tell, but they're actually made from cement. They're just so worn down from, you know, erosion and stuff, the rain. So I think from certain angles you can tell. Yeah, there, you can see it there. You can see the eucalyptus leaves and the koala. But it's like barely noticeable when you're like passing by it. Yeah, so here's another one. Try to get that angle on it. But it's just so worn down. So as I walk around Matsudo, I'm, I'm realizing there's a lot of different types of coverings, uh, steel coverings, not just manholes, but there's also like service um, access points, I guess, for like electrical lines, the gas line, um, telecommunications type of stuff. And uh, what's really interesting, uh, this is something I really didn't pay attention to. I kind of took it for granted uh, living here. But, um, you know, there's just a wide variety of sizes as well, sizes and shapes. And then the designs are also very different. And you can notice that some of them have like the company's logo or something like that. Um, it's, it's just really interesting to see the patterns and shapes and sizes and all that stuff. So this video, besides, you know, looking for a eucalyptus tree and a painted koala manhole cover, um, it's opening my eyes to more things on the street. So I was walking around and uh, I did notice this one. Here's another one with a colored background. It's got a uh, green. So yeah, green background, but the koalas are not painted. Well, walking around and I found another one with a green background, but I can tell there's like, the tree is painted too. The tree has a little bit of brown. So yeah, it's similar to the other one, but it, the color is a, a little bit more um, intact here, but still no white koala. The elusive white koala, where are you?
Oh, snap. This is it, guys. Right here. Yes. I found it. I found it, guys. Look. It's right here. The elusive white koala painted manhole cover here in Matsudo. Check it out, guys. Finally found it. Took me a while. Took me about two and a half hours. You can see the koala and she's got the baby on her back. And then the leaves, the eucalyptus tree. Nice and painted. This is what we were looking for, guys. So my dumbass, I actually walked everywhere around here. Um, I even walked right by this thing and for some reason I didn't see it. Maybe there was a car passing by or some people or something and I just didn't see that one. But uh, I, I passed by here like very early on today. <laughs> So uh, it's funny coming back to it because I was actually heading back to the station to kind of just like double back and see if maybe I missed it. And luckily I did find it. So there it is, guys. The elusive painted koala manhole cover in Matsudo. We found it, guys. We found it. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And um, I'm so glad that we were able to find that painted manhole cover and uh, it's funny because right by that one the one that I thought was the only one in Matsudo was actually maybe 100 feet away from another one just like it so the things that I saw online that said that there were more than one uh, was actually accurate and it's funny because they were very close to each other um, if you really like this video please please give it a thumbs up and definitely hit that subscribe button, click the little bell to trigger the notifications so you can see when I upload new videos as well as uh, when I go live for my live streams. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say about these kinds of things, about the types of videos that I make and the content that you see within the videos. Um, your feedback is like always, always appreciated. So uh, once again, thank you guys. So I guess I'll uh, see you in the next video. Please take care. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you later. Bye.